Hey everybody, um, I hope you're doing good today. I wanted to share something with you that I found at Dollar Tree. I don't remember if I had shared this particular item, but I have this in my little prayer corner and here lately I've been just doing my quiet time on my bed just because it's most comfortable <clears throat> and it's easier for me to get, you know, up and down. That floor is really hard for, hard for me to get up. From. So, I got this basket. This is a collapse, collapsible basket. I'm up in my there this weekend to see if they have any more. And I thought this would be a great little thing to take with me, you know, from the floor to over here, or even in the living room. And <clears throat> um, switch two bottles or two. So let me just have right now going on um i have this woman's devotional bible the new internal version i got this at a thrift store and a while back and i was looking for something in my family and I had a in. omg uh, now the print is small <clears throat> but i do have this on if i can try to post the link down below they do have this on there and I love, love, love this Bible. I got like probably three, four Bibles that I'm using for Bible study. But um, I keep this in here, put a flower on top of it. And this is that new compact Bible I had shared with y'all a while back. I just used a Dollar Tree here band. I'm trying to find another one to go better with this. And so um, I haven't Bible journaled some of the ones I wanted to in this yet, but I'm slowly getting to it. My only concern is making this part bend. Okay. Now, I love my coffee. I love folder coffee. This is just in here. I just took some basic um, color pencils out of my collection behind me. And I stuck this guy. This, this is a really I don't I got all what I have. This uh usually stays in there. That way I can reach for it. I also have another but I use my little so, <clears throat> of course that other one might be in here, but um I have a Bible journaling spot over here. I just I don't use it like I thought I would. So oh yeah, here's the eraser. Hold on. Pull it out. I think I was supposed to, um, that's one of those I got at Dollar Tree. I think there's some in there. Yeah, I, I need to replace that, but let me just stick that in there. I've got a hot pink one in my purse, or in my travel stuff. And then in here, this is just some index cards that I made. I've got, there's three in the middle. middle. These have the stickers I'm using right now. And then I had a great big Bible journaling supplies that I, you know, stuff that I want to use. <clears throat> and I just decided to divide it between uh, the two the half. So this is just a pencil case. And I just have basic stuff. I've got some washi. I've got some Mr. Pen items that someone gave me, and I'm not really super impressed with them. I mean, they're okay. But they're not something I think you really need to use for Bible journaling <coughs> or Bible study in that ma that manner. <coughs> I apologize about the coughing. I still haven't got rid of this crap. Okay, I just have a big pen. And then Mr. Pen. This came from Dollar Tree. And these... <clears throat> gel highlighters. I love these. I got these at Walmart in a package. They rock. And the only thing I can tell you is you can either let them dry after you use it on your Bible verse or what I like to do is just take a tissue and wipe it just a little bit because I'm afraid it's going to stick to the following page. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm running in front of the one that you're working on. And I got a package of these. I think during the Walmart holiday sale, maybe Valentine's Day, and I grabbed the little red one to write down when, you know, Jesus is speaking. 
this is my prayer journal devotional journal uh, I think I did a flip on this if you guys want to see it if I have not done that let me know and we'll do a flip on it so I'm gonna keep all that in here and as I said I got several Bibles I'm using right now Here's the other two. When I'm not utilizing them, they stay on my Bible journaling table. I have the Inspire Bible. This is the NLT. And I've, uh, in case you don't know what this is, this is a journaling Bible that's got some um, little drawings in here to go with it, but you can still Bible journal in there. So, and I got this at. <clears throat> excuse me I got it at Hobby Lobby it was like $23 normally about 40-50 bucks ooh I need to do that one here <laughs> it's like ooh I need to do that one um I'm not having a great work week right now and I'm hoping God will direct me on what I'm supposed to be doing right now so okay so I will color that in and then I have this new believers uh bible from Greg Glory I had called when I was in the middle of my spiritual walk trying to get myself straight and they offered to send this to me anyway and this this is the new testament in, in LT this has been awesome uh I don't know if I'm gonna bible journal in this I don't even know if I did or not but he also, this has been very, very helpful, and I highly encourage anybody. Um, I will try to remember to post the phone number where you can call them at Harvest. I have the Harvest.org app on my phone, on all my phones that I use, just in case I have Wi-Fi and I want to listen. Highly recommend this. He has been awesome. He, he is what Billy Graham was to my mother, my late mother, so... Uh, this has been awesome and so that's that i've got more bibles over here but i'm just showing you ones i'm utilizing and then this is the bag that i take with me to work it's just a child's backpack i got it on clearance for five bucks that's this cute little pom pom <clears throat> and in the front i just keep some sewing supplies I call it my activity bag and then I have my on-the-go prayer journal that I made right here. Again, if you guys want to see a flip, if I haven't done it, let me know. I've got two compact uh, Bibles. This, you know, smaller ones. This is a child's one that I got at the thrift store, and I recently found this. This, uh, it's got small print, but I love this because, you know, it helps me understand certain things. I got them tabbed. Like, I have this. Uh, just gives you some steady stuff in the back. So, highly encourage the thrift stores if you're ever looking for something like this. I tabbed this because I was reading this. But I mainly, I can Bible journal in this. But I like to have a Bible on me at all times. Whenever, especially when I'm at work. And I need encouragement. This has been awesome to have. And then, that kit I just showed you. I divided it. This is a lot bigger than what I'm wanting to take. But... This just has everything else in there. Uh, and also, if I know for sure I'm going to Bible journal on my lunch, I have this pen case. And I just have some basic color pencils. But my favorite, I bought these a while back. They're the Craze Art uh, color pencils, the eraser. I tried the Corella ones. I didn't really like them. But these have been pretty awesome so far. They got the eraser on there. They got that. <laughs> And that's why I take that little cheap pencil sharpener with me. So, I did pull a few others from my collection just because I needed the shades. So, <clears throat> that's what I'm using right now. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Please uh, like and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video.